Marine Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Squadron 1 launched the RQ-7BV-2 Shadow at the Cannon Air Defense Complex in Yuma, Arizona, March 26th, making it the aircraft's first flight outside of 29 Palms. The ultimate intent is to run daily operations out of this site. This will potentially provide us with the uh, ability to run daily flight ops, whereas up in uh, 29 Palms, it's not really possible to set up a a system there and, and keep it out there on a semi-permanent basis. The significance really is the fact that this compound was built, and, you know, the fact that we've got a runway here, and that, that took coordination from headquarters Marine Corps all the way through down to the squadron and then across to the other, you know, other units within the group. Marine Wing Support Squadrons 371 and 274 assisted VMU-1 with the relocation to Yuma. Roughly August of 2015, while we were forward deployed, uh, we received the task that we were going to build the runway for VMU-1. We started the project in October of 2015, and we had to clear out at least eight acres worth of basically shrubs, started the leveling process. In January, we started the, uh, the process of actually wetting, compacting, leveling, and laying material down. It's been a team effort, you know, and it's been a success. So really, in the end, you, can't, you couldn't ask for more from the Marines. VMU-1 is expected to assist with training exercises and other flight operations in the future. Reporting for the 3rd Marine Aircraft Wing, I'm Sergeant Michael Thorne.